Hello my loves And welcome to a new full body ASMR Reiki session Today we'll be doing a deep, deep cleanse of your energy body So today's session is perfect if you've been feeling a little off kilter, a little off balance, both um, mentally, emotionally, but also physically, we'll be removing a lot of blockages, a lot of stuck energies today from your body so that your body can go back to its natural state of balance and peacefulness. Okay? Today's video will have a little bit of tapping for those of you who are sensitive to the sound of tapping, especially if you're trying to fall asleep. Um, yeah, I think that's all that I need to say for the intro. Before we get started, I do want to say a big thank you to our sponsor of today, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. It covers topics from self-development, wellness, to learning new skills like illustration, interior design, and much more. This month, I followed Anthony Rosanello's class on becoming an amazing conversationalist, how to connect and build chemistry with anyone. I was really excited for this class as when it comes to social interactions, I can be a bit introverted and awkward at times. Anthony covers the whole process from before walking up to a person to how to start a conversation and how to hold it. His class has definitely given me extra confidence and the whole process of talking to strangers and what to talk to them about seems less scary to me now. So whether you want to dive deeper into a skill, pivot your career, or deepen your self-care practices, Skillshare is the perfect place to start. Skillshare's classes are ad-free and they have new premium classes launching weekly, so there is always something new to discover. Plus, all their classes can be watched with Spanish, French, Portuguese, or German subtitles, making it even more accessible to those of us who aren't native English speakers. The first 1,000 people to use the link in the description box below will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Thanks again, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the Reiki session. So, first off, we're going to smudge, cleanse your aura to remove any of the energies of the day, any of the energies that you have picked up while being out and about, between people, intermingling, socializing. Maybe you have the energy of a person that you can still feel in your body or their emotions or maybe there's a conversation that you've had today that's just going on loop in your mind So we'll be removing that with the smudge stick So let's light it up If you have an intention for today's session, you can set it while looking into the flame. Just properly and we get a good smoke There we go Now I will be gently this 
dispersing the smoke all around your body. Just imagine the smoke enveloping you and pulling out from your energy body anything that is stuck right now within you, anything that's on loop, any energies that you have picked up that aren't yours and that you are ready to let go of. Just feel those being cleansed away right now. Let it go. Let go of the day. Let go of the conversations. And allow yourself to come back to the present moment. To the now. Back to your body. Reconnect with your breath. Let's take a few deep breaths together. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Full exhale out through your mouth. Releasing any tension, any stress. Deep inhale. Full exhale out. Good. Last one. Inhale. And exhale out. Really good. So let's place this off to the side on our altar. by drawing some Reiki symbols into your energy field. But today's special because we'll be calling in the help of runes as well. And I thought I would bring in my little book on runes to give you some more information on the runes that we'll be drawing in your aura today to help us with the energy cleanse. And this is the book of runes by Ralph Bloom. Okay. So the first rune we'll be drawing is Laos. This one. Laos. The rune of flow and it corresponds to the element of water and to the essence of yin. So it's a very feminine um, type of energy. And I'll read a little bit here of what it says. The attributes of this rune are water, fluidity, the ebb and flow of emotions, careers, and relationships. Laos encourages you to immerse yourself in the experience of living without having to evaluate or understand. It speaks to the satisfaction of emotional needs to the awakening of the intuitive or lunar side of your nature. For while the sun strives for differentiation, the moon draws us towards union and merging. So I wanted to call in the power of Lagos of this rune here you can see the symbol of the rune right here because obviously we want to bring in that watery essence to cleanse but also we want to call in the feminine um, essence or energy of 
nourishment, completion, and union, and that feeling of wholeness and peacefulness that we can ride the waves of life, that we can be in flow with life. So this is a very um, yin-based rune, has a lot of feminine energy, and to balance it out, we will also be drawing Alhis, which is the protection rune. This is what it looks like. You can see the name here at the top. Alhis. Protection. And then it has some other correlating words with it too. And this has a lot more masculine um, energy to it as it is the rune of protection. And I'll read here a little bit too. Control of emotions is at issue here. During times of transition, shifts in life course and accelerated self-change, it is important not to collapse yourself into your emotions, the highs as well as the lows. So, we want to bring in an element of masculinity as well in the cleansing so that we don't fully collapse in our feminine and we're not at the mercy of the highs and the lows of life. We have a, a steadiness, a, a groundedness, a container around us. Protection. So. I will be doing a bit of a fusion, a combination of the um, Japanese Reiki symbol Chokure. Then I'll be doing um, the Laos one, so just like so. And then I'll be doing the protection one, alias, like so, and then another Chokure. And I'll be drawing this sequence of symbols on all the different chakra points in your body to activate them, to cleanse them out, to give protection and balance as well. So that was our little, our little book of runes. I'll be placing it off to the side now. We will be using this beautiful piece of smoky quartz, so the crystal point, and we'll be using this to draw the symbols into your aura. Like so. I'm just demonstrating for you now. And I will be reciting the name of the symbols with it too. Okay? We are going to start at the top of your head by your crown chakra and then work our way down the body. So I'm going to start off first. I'm going to come in a little closer here. I'm going to start off first by drawing the symbols to activate it. Chill. Take a moment to connect to the energy point at the top of your head. If you have any tension here, allow it to soften, to melt. Just feel the top of your head, your crown, relaxing, softening, opening up. And the Reiki energy will now pull out any 
blockages from this part of your energy body. Maybe you've been having some existential crises or doubting your connection to life, to everything around you, to God, to the universe. So let's pull out any confusion, any doubt here. Any inability or blockages to be able to see the bigger connection in life, your connection to everything. Now I'll be using this beautiful piece of moss agate to scoop out those energies that have come to the surface. So I'll be doing like so, but at the crown of your head. So just gently removing any of the energies that came to the surface that have been blocking your crown chakra. being scooped away. Good. And then we'll be removing some cords with this or a treated quartz. This is quite a big piece, almost as big as my hand. And we'll be using it as a crystal blade to remove cords to cut them. So we'll be removing here any cords, any attachments that we have at our crown chakra that are keeping us blocked, unable to see, unable to connect. We don't have a lot of work to do here, I can sense. Let's see. Okay. Now I'll be stirring the chakra like so. So if this is top of your head, I'll be stirring like this counterclockwise the top of your head to activate this energy point, and as I do this, I want you to feel the energies flowing in an anti-clockwise manner. And as they start to flow in this way, you can feel your chakra activating, being illuminated, and giving off a whitish, purpley color almost iridescent, otherworldly kind of color. Stirring, stirring. Really good. Okay. So now we are moving down to your um, third eye chakra, right here, located in the middle of your forehead. We're going to start off with the symbols, the Reiki symbols and the runes.
Let's send some Reiki energy to your third eye. So just feel the energy entering through the middle of your forehead, activating your third eye and pulling out, bringing to the surface any energies that are blocking you here, any energies that are blocking your imagination, any energies that are keeping you in a negative loop, a negative pattern of thinking. It is from this place energetically that we create our reality and call in or create certain things for ourselves. And if we have a tendency to have a negative perspective on things and interpret things in a negative way constantly, we keep repeating that for ourselves externally. We keep attracting negative experiences externally. So if you have found yourself lately going through a lot of unwanted, unfavorable situations, maybe we need to do some deblocking in your third eye and allow you to upgrade, to shift upwards, to be able to see the good, the positive in what you already have. So, pulling out any negative programming here, allow it to come to the surface. Good. We're going to be scooping it out with the moss agate. There we go. And then cutting cords with the aura cords. much better. So now I'm going to be stirring your third eye chakra again counterclockwise. And while I do this, feel your third eye being activated, being opened up. And emitting from it a deep purpley color, a purpley midnight blue. Good. Feel that light being emanated from deep within your third eye. Allow the energies to flow freely here. Good. You're doing well. Let's now move on to your throat chakra. Again, we're going to start by drawing these symbols first, right by your I'm gently pressing that in. Lagos, Lagos, Lagos. Algis, Algis, Algis. Chocure, Chocure, Chocure. Good. Now sending Reiki energy to your throat. Feel any energetic 
energetic blockages being pushed up to the surface out of your skin into the energy around you feel your throat opening up relaxing, softening no need to hold on here let go of the grip you have on your throat if you've been having any issues communicating lately communicating clearly what's on your mind, your ideas communicating in a loving and compassionate way if you've been having any issues with that, we're going to remove those blocks so that you can come back to a balanced throat chakra where it is easy for you to communicate about what you're feeling about your ideas, your perspectives and to be able to do so in a loving way in a warm way in a compassionate way let's scoop out any of that energy that flowed to the surface we're just going to scoop it up like so and remove it just scraping away gently scraping away at the muck at the energy blockages here just removing all And then, shoo, removing any cords. Shoo. Shoo. Cords are deeper programming that shoo, has been with us for a while. Maybe we've picked it up during childhood or past lifetimes. Shoo. We're going to remove those now. Shoo. again by your throat chakra and as you feel this chakra being activated and opening up imagine a blue light a light blue light emanating from the center of your throat like the color of my nails this kind of blue Feel the energy moving anti-clockwise Expanding, opening up Good Moving on to your heart Right in the middle of your chest, your heart chakra your heart, 
it pulls from your heart any blockages, any pain, any darkness, anything that is keeping the energies from flowing optimally here. Allow that energy to move to the surface, to push through your skin and to come out into your energy field around you. Let go of the grip that you have on your own heart. Now we're going to be removing these impurities, these blockages with the moss agate using the purifying qualities of nature to remove these blockages now from your heart. And as we remove these, your heart starts to feel lighter. solar plexus, which is located right here in the upper abdomen. First, we're going to be drawing the symbols. Chokure, chokure, chokure. Lavos, lavos, lavos. Alis, alis, alis. Chokure. Sending Reiki energy to your solar plexus right there. Feel the Reiki energy cleansing your solar plexus, pulling from it any darkness, any heaviness when it comes to your self-perception, your self-identity. 
the way you see yourself. Also pulling any blockages or any pain surrounding social relationships. Other people and our connection to them. Allow these blockages to rise to the surface. Feel them being pushed out of your body, out of your skin, into the environment around you, into your energy field. Feel how this part of your body becomes lighter as we remove these opposing forces in your solar plexus, these blockages. Good. Now we're going to go a layer deeper and cut cords. Again, the cords are usually um, deeper contracts that we've had past lifetimes or deeper programming that is um, it's located deeper in there so we're going to shoop, cut the cords with that shoop. we're going to cancel our subscription shoop, to those shoop, and remove them now going to be stirring the energies anti-clockwise now by your solar plexus and while I do this, feel the solar plexus opening up, being activated and now envision a brilliant yellow light like a sunflower yellow being emanated from your solar plexus Feel the energies move anti-clockwise. Good. Really good. Now we're moving to your sacral, which is located about two, three fingers underneath your belly button. sacral chakra located just below your belly button and I want you to feel the Reiki energy pulling up to the surface any blockages any pain, any disruptions here when it comes to our emotions, our creativity, our passion Our desires. And as you feel the Reiki energy do its 
work. Feel the lower abdomen just relaxing, releasing any tension from between your organs, letting go. All of these blockages are being pushed to the surface now. We're going to be removing them with the moss agate. Allow yourself, give yourself permission to let go of these. We don't have to hold on to the pain, to the disruption, to the opposition within ourselves. Let it go. We don't realize that a lot of what is holding us back in life is ourselves. A lot of times it's us who are keeping us small, we're keeping ourselves small. Okay. Removing any cords now from your sacral chakra, any soul contracts that are no longer serving us, any programming that we've picked up in this lifetime or the previous ones. Going to be stirring anti-clockwise now with the aura cords. And I want you to feel the energies moving anti-clockwise. Expanding, opening up, unlocking your sacral chakra, your inner power, your inner creativity. your passions, your desires, your desire for life, your joy for life. And then feel a warm, orangey light emanating from your sacral. Like amber, a warm glow a beautiful, bright, earthy, orangey color. Allow it to shine bright. Good. Okay. And now moving on to your root chakra, which is located deep within your hips by the base of your spine. Sending Reiki energy to your root chakra now. Feel it start at the base of your spine and then opening up like a flower. And the Reiki pulls to the surface any blockages that we have around our security, stability in life. When it comes to our essential needs. 
Maybe you've been going through some financial trouble. Maybe material troubles. Anything that has to do with our basic survival, the things that we need. If you've been dwelling in a space of fear around those things, let's remove that fear now. Allow those blockages to float up to the surface, being pushed out of your body, out of your skin, into the greater aura around you. Good. Let go of the anxiety, the fear, Feeling like you have to do it all yourself. Fear of the unknown. Let it go. Now we're scooping away these blockages now, these negative energies that are not doing us any good that are keeping us stuck. Removing them now. And then cutting cords at the root level. Letting go of fears that have passed on from previous lifetimes or from your ancestors in this lifetime. Letting go of any limiting beliefs or scarcity mindsets when it comes to finances, when it comes to our survival. Letting it go now. Shh. 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 Good. Now I'll be stirring the energies anti clockwise at your root chakra. So just feel those energies being activated. The root chakra flowing against the clock. And as they do, we can feel the energy expand, opening up. Feel that sense of spaciousness. And then from your root chakra emanates this beautiful, deep red light. Feel the red light, see the red light, and feel the energies flowing here freely, without any obstructions, without any blockages, being fully free. a few full body sweeps here. And 
as I do this, just feel your energy gently being pulled outwards. And as I do this, you can feel your posture improving. You can sense yourself taking up more space, expanding, standing more confidently, more boldly, more in your power. Which is what we want. We want you in your power as your full self. There you go, my 